Hey, hey, this is what I consider my introduction to Lewis Carroll and Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. Uh, here's the book. Thanks, Nicole, for giving me this. Uh, okay, so Tim Burton made Alice meets Lord of the Rings. And I had break dancing at the end. So, what the hell? He and Disney were thinking, I don't know, maybe it's just some sick joke. Now they can all laugh their way to the bank. Uh, looking on YouTube, there actually are some very good videos where people actually sit and read the book. And these videos, which are pretty well done, they have about 600 hits on it. Yet, Stuff for the Alice in Wonderland movie has 800,000 hits. So, I don't even know if people know what a book is anymore, but people used to read these. I still read them. I love books. You get to hear words in your own voice written by someone else. The words imprint on your mind gives you things and tools to work with and your thoughts. Reading is very good. Grew up my whole life hearing on TV. Reading is fundamental. And it is. I've read my whole life. All right, Lewis Carroll. Uh, he took about 30,000 photographs during his life too. His real name is Charles Lutwidge Dodson, 1832 to 1898, who wrote his nonsense books under the name of Lewis Carroll, was educated at Rugby School in Christ Church, Oxford. From 1855 to 1881, he lectured in mathematics at Oxford, and under his own name, he was author of An Elementary Treatise on Determinants. He is best remembered, however, for what he considered his trivial works. Okay. Uh, the story I want to write is how he and Alice Liddell and Lydell and her sisters were rowing on a boat. I'd love to make a short little comic book or cartoon video of that. Uh, lots of good things with Alice in Wonderland. Uh, I had a college professor who said that many men view themselves through the fictional character of Hamlet, whereas for females, they view themselves through the eyes of the fictional character of Alice. I still have a lot of research and reading to do. There's a great 1995 New Yorker article about Alice in Wonderland and Charles Dodd and uh, Wikipedia stuff on Alice is okay, but kind of generic. Uh, what Alice all means to America and the United States. Okay. Well, there's a lot of work to be done. Let's just put it that way. So here's my intro to Alice. There's going to be more to come because I'm not through.